We first went to visit Peter, our fixed partner, at his home in Milton Mowbray. Peter suffers from muscular dystrophy, so he's confined to a wheelchair. He has a great number of interests, in particular arts and crafts. I had this trolley made 20 years ago mm -hmm. because I wanted one that I could move easily. Mm -hmm. and I use it for my television to start with, to take it through to the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything where you, there's no specific space for something and it's kind of awkward and you have to leave it anywhere where it calls you? I do craft work. Okay. Which we identified a number of problems that presented opportunities for development in Peter's home. These were 1. The splashing caused by his customised sink unit, 2. The unorganised nature of the bookshelf, and 3. The clutter caused by his arts and crafts materials. We picked the crafts materials as the problem to tackle as it was the issue he was the most passionate about, producing a solution for, and is one of his most enjoyed hobbies. We started to generate ideation as a group, and we decided to design a movable storage unit for Peter's arts and crafts. So what we need is some rollers on each state. So, Lydia, what do you think of this? If we're like having this point. We built a low fidelity prototype using cardboard to illustrate the design. We visited Peter with the prototype and loaded it up with his various craft supplies. This was a great exercise to make sure the trolley could hold all of his bits. Suggested alterations from Peter were taller pen pots, a ruler holder, and magazine racks to hold his colored card. These alterations were worked into the design during the making of the trolley. We tried to use as little plastic as possible during the manufacture of the trolley as Peter is environmentally conscious. Plywood was used for the dividers on the top shelf and cardboard magazine holders were used for the card storage. We delivered the final product to Peter and filled up the trolley together with his arts and crafts materials. It was time for Peter to give it a spin and to start the trolley. Peter and ourselves were pleased with the final outcome and he looks forward to using it in the future to help his organisation and encourage him to do more of what he loves.